Hey friends! Alright, welcome to the channel. I am happy you're here. We are doing another craft today. This time we have this little heart and I just wanted to do something little tonight. Tomorrow will be my break night. Um, you'll still get a video because I've done them in advance, but I'm actually going to take a little break. <laughs> anyway, so I have these hearts that I got online and I did the water technique so I'm just kind of pulling it apart right now just along the edges. I did it on the outside of the edges because of um, I want to be able to go in and do a little bit of distressing. So I'm going to paint this white and uh, so that I can put that over it without it being seen. I thought about doing it a different color so you could see it through here, but then that means the whole thing is going to get, it, it would just be too dark on the bottom of it. Now, I like building layers, obviously, um, but I don't want it to start, I, want it, I don't want it to start out dark. I want to be able to layer that on because that way I have control over, well, all of it, how dark it actually will get. All right, so I'm gonna do the second coat, and I forgot to tell you, this is this is white Waverly chalk paint. So I'm sure you guys are fully prepared for the distressing that's coming. <laughs> because it will be. This is very white. And although it would go great with a whole lot of different styles, it's just not mine, that's all. Alrighty, so that is pretty much dry. I just touched something on the side that's not so dry. Um, so this doily is going to, obviously it's too big. I will cut off the rest of this with, I'll just take it off with the sandpaper. Alright, so I'm just going to Mod Podge. I thought about kind of wrapping it down around the edges instead of cutting it off. I don't know, we'll see if it, if it would fit that much. I have no problem with that. All right, let's see how this works. So I'm gonna line this up the best I can here. So, I mean, yeah, it probably would reach. Oh, it would, yeah. So maybe, maybe I'll go ahead and um, instead of cutting the entire thing off, I can make it go down the edges. Just give the edges a little bit of style, right? All right, well, so I'm going to go ahead and do the sides here. Yeah, okay, so because so, it's a rounded edge, you're just going to have to overlap a little bit here and there. Again, not a problem for me because it will just add to the distressed look when I'm done. I have no problem with it. I am going to cut this middle piece, though, and that is just so that it can fit down and around. It's, if I didn't do that, it's it's going to go straight across instead of uh, down into the middle of the heart. Now I'm going to line that up the same as the other one. So I find if you line it up with here and then the point, the rest goes into place. You don't even have to worry about it. It's in there pretty good. Okay, time to distress. And then we'll come back to um, sealing it after. So, of course, we're using this. So, I don't use real stain, like like stain stain, because it, um, it actually makes me pretty sick. The smell of it... Uh, really makes me sick and I get nauseous and headache. So that's why I am really into the Waverly. It just, for me, it is better to use that because there's no smell to it. All right, you can see with this Waverly, you can see now, you start to see all of the details of the, um, the doily coming through, which is what I wanted. And I'm kind of just tamping this 
to get uh, variations in the color. So there's Mod Podge on here, and then there's you know there's nooks and crannies that it goes into. So you'll you'll get these variations in color when you do it this way. So what I'm going to do here is is wipe over this because of there's letters, words on here. So I doing this would probably block that. So we're going to continue around. Now you can see. Can you see that all of the looks like lattice work. See, this is why I did the water technique instead of um, cutting. You can see see these see these edges. They're just uneven edges. That's what I wanted. So now I can go in with a brush and um, just highlight those edges with some of the black. So this is still, I didn't dry this in between. This is still wet because I'm trying to get this to blend with the black to blend with the brown. All right, so what I am gonna do is actually come through and do these edges too with the black. Just a little, doesn't have to be overbearing. I don't wanna block this in. I don't wanna like cover that with black. I'm just kinda using a dry brush and going back and forth so that I get both the top and the side with uh, with some of this black. All right, so I'm just kind of going up here, blending this in a little bit more. I don't want there to be like a harsh edge. All right, what do we think? I like it. I think it's pretty. But you've got like this layer with the doily. You've got this where you can see, you know, a little bit of the lettering and the lines and things and if I did this as well I could do that the red color and then distress it what do we think just something a little bit more simple well we'll never know until we try right so let's do it and I'm not even gonna bother like cleaning my brush I'm just gonna use the same one I used the black hmm. because I didn't clean it it's already giving it the distressed look which I love I mean, if I haven't mentioned that already 20 times in all my videos. <laughs> Again, going for that pop of color, guys. I know, I am obsessed with these particular colors this year. I just absolutely love them. And dark red, like this, this is my favorite color anyway. I have it like pops of this color throughout my house, but a lot of my house is this. There's a lot of black, there's a lot of brown, tans, dark greens, um, and then this red. All right, I think that is good. So this is what I mean, guys. I'm sitting here drying this and I'm like, oh, I'll call it a day after that, right? And then my brain is just like, oh, but you could do this and you could do that. <laughs> it's I do it to myself, I'm telling you, it's just, it's a whole thing. <laughs> I was gonna go tomorrow and get some new ones. We're supposed to get a pretty bad storm, plus the shop is open, and uh, I'm not, just not gonna have time. So I will do it probably Monday, because the shop is also open on Sunday. So looks like Monday. So as I was saying before, um, I, uh, I gravitate towards these colors naturally. That's just because I like them. But I have been making pretty stuff with pinks and, and that kind of thing. So I think I think we're good. Well, that's not okay. I can't find my cheesecloth. Gotta have that. That is that is essential. You guys, <laughs> it's, it's right here. It was on top of this um, flower sack. My goodness. I think it's time to relax and watch a movie. So clearly, this is my favorite bow to make. I just think it looks really, really good. And um, 
I don't know, it just fits with the type of projects I make. The messy bow, the dis distressed look, it just goes. But I do like adding like a regular bow on top sometimes. And I do have stuff that's only got a regular bow, so. Shake it out. And you have a messy bow. So now, again, you have to trim. And then sometimes, you know, when, when you're trimming, like I'll make them a certain size, and then as I'm trimming, they just, they get a little bit smaller. It's just the way it goes. And it's just making it um, just uniform all the way around, really. And if I have the bow here, do this up in this edge here like that with the bow. I'm going to have to make it thinner and then I can tie, keep the heart there and then I can tie this with a bow in here like that. I think that would be nice. What do you think? And then do this bow. Oops, pulled it right out. It's going to sit this way. So maybe we can glue this so that it stays turned. Alright guys, what do we think about this? I like it. I was debating on whether or not this was too wide, but it's kind of cute. I don't, I don't, I don't mind it. Let's go in and staple here, and we'll do the same at the top, and here, there, that worked. I'm gonna distress this a little bit. It's definitely these edges. That looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this heart in. I'm just going to kind of lift it in place. Line it up. I'm going to do this button. There we go. Cute, simple, quick. I think it's adorable. All right, guys, so I think that's it. Oh, remember that if you're interested in anything that I make, I do sell everything. So if you go to my Etsy shop, um, which is Country View Homestead is the name of it, you will find everything that I make. All the categories are there, um, and this would be under Valentine's Day. So feel free to head over there if you're interested. Also, um, these, obviously these uh, longer tutorials are here on YouTube. I post shorter ones and um, reels like to music and stuff on my Facebook and that's also where I post everything. So if you want to catch up with anything and be up to date with stuff, then um, follow me on Facebook. Uh, thank you for joining me again. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend.